Hey, what is up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video, we are going to build the next section of our landing page here. So, and that is this right down here. So we're gonna work with this uh, image here, this gear, uh, very cool. And then the header and then this paragraph text. And working with this and looking at it, we can already tell that this is going to be a new section, right? So we're probably gonna be starting off creating another partial in our layouts folder. All right, to add this uh, background and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here uh, in our HTML, um, this is going to be the section uh, that has the gear and that stuff. Okay, I just called it the about container. And then we've nested a regular container in here. And you can see that I have a wrapper for the gear image with an image container, just abbreviated it there. And then we have the about content, the title and the text. So let's dive right into that. So let's start with the container. So inside our layouts uh, folder here, go ahead, right click, and we're gonna create a new folder and we're just gonna call it about, okay? Created a partial there. And then inside here, we're going to create two classes. We're gonna work with that header title and then the uh, paragraph text underneath that. So go ahead and we're gonna grab the class that was there, the uh, about title for the text, and we're gonna add a font size of large. So we've got a variable for that, um, font size, or is font large, <laughs> there it is. But let's make this a little bit bigger and do the extra large. There it is, geez. And then with the font size, um, we're also gonna add some margin we're going to do the zero from the top, zero from the left and right, and we need to add some space to push that paragraph text down below. So let's go ahead and just add in 30 pixels. And with the color, um, we're using a darker font here. So why don't we go ahead and just grab our base dark. Okay, it's that close to black font, but not quite black. And then next, let's go ahead and grab the about text, okay? Let me bring that down a little bit. And we're gonna have a margin uh, on this, zero from the top, left and right. And we'll push this down about 50 uh, pixels at the bottom to push down that button just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and add uh, some color to this. And we're gonna have this uh, be the, actually watch this. We're going to do lighten, and then we're going to grab our uh, base dark and then let's lighten this by 10%, okay? Because what we're doing here is the about title, we've put it at the base dark, and I want this about text to just be a shade lighter than that, just to add some contrast to our website. And then underneath this, uh, we're gonna do letter spacing, and then I want you to do negative, okay, 0.025 uh, EM. And what this is gonna do is it's going to take the letters and just slightly snug it and compact them together just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit here. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna work with the about container, right? So over here in our containers, uh, let's create this uh, container so we can add some uh, background and other style properties to it. So we're gonna go grab the class about uh, container and then um, we are going to give this a, let's give it a background color. And this one is the uh, lighter base that we have. So base lighter. All right, and then we're gonna give this uh, some padding. And we're gonna do 70 pixels from the top and bottom and zero from the left and right. Okay, we'll, we'll just use the uh, padding already that this container is giving us. And then let's go ahead and sit a, set a min height on this of 540 pixels. And this is going to help uh, condense the uh, container so all of our uh, content snugs together. And that uh, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a refresh here. Very nice. So we've got our gray background, uh, everything here. Now let's just work with this image here. And this is gonna be cool, it's gonna be really easy. Um, all we need to do is come into our images and the class that we threw on that gear was gear image. 
Okay, and we're gonna make this uh, really simple, and we're just gonna do extend, and we're going to call that center block, and then that way it just takes the image and it just centers it in the uh, element that it's in. So let's go back and give it a refresh, and there you have it. That wraps up this lesson. We used an extend to position this image here in just one line of code, and then we just called upon some of our other variables that we made to help style this header and paragraph text. So that is a wrap for this lesson. Let's keep moving on.